In this series of lessons, we'll be talking about various methods of creating realistic environments using 3ds Max and some of its plugins. So we'll be mainly using 3ds Max, V-Ray, Multiscatter, Forest Pack, and uh, these are the ma main plugins that we'll be using in these series of lessons. For today, we will be uh, learning more about Multiscatter and how how does it work and how can we use it for practical scenes. And this is the example scene which I have created using uh, Multiscatter. Uh, so here in a ter on a terrain I have uh, scattered some grasses, some bushes and some various trees uh, so that it looks all together like a forest and I have added a uh, V-Ray Fog uh, that can add a like, little more realism and did some color correction and uh, after effects. So we'll move, uh, before we doing this scene we'll move on to a basic scene so where we can understand the uh, basic uh, options and tools in uh, multi-scatter so we'll talk about the basic parameters which are required to create something like this so I'll move on to 3ds max and close this and uh, move on to 3ds max close this. so uh, I have uh, a very simple scene in 3ds max where I have uh, uh, one tree and couple of uh, grasses and flowers here these are the objects I want to scatter on surfaces and I have made some surfaces uh, as I have a, a plane, I have a teapot and I have a spline too. So what I'm doing is uh, I'm creating a multi-scatter okay uh, when I go to objects and pick multi-scatter from here. So I have two options uh, basically either uh, directly populate multi-scatter on a surface or you can paint on a surface I'm, I'm most of the time I use this option so I pick it and create this icon over here so this more icon over here I'll move it somewhere here and so by default uh, once I select an object and create it uh, Multiscatter will make sure that that surface is uh, selected as a distribution surface. So you can uh, later choose whichever surface you wanted as a distribution surface. As of now, I'm picking a plane itself, and I wanted an object to be distributed. So here on the first uh, basic parameter is that scatter objects. I need to pick one or multiple objects to scatter. As of now, I'm picking a grass object here. Just picked a grass. Uh, so um, you can see that I have a couple of uh, grasses scattered over here uh, very few in number as of now so if I render it uh, you can see that I have uh, very few grasses scattered here and there in that so to so what we have done is uh, we have just, uh, just picked up multi scatter and normally I select an object as of now I haven't selected if you haven't selected you need to pick a surface, you pick the surface once, then what you need to do is you need to pick a scatter object, I pick the scatter object, okay. Um, now is the thing is count, how, how many numbers you need here, so here there is something called max count, I may say that I need 1500, so you can see that I have more grass and it is showed as a bounding box, it's not showed as a mesh as, because it would be very heavy to show it as a mesh, only it calculates the render time. Just render it now. So you can see that I have now more number of grasses here in the scene. I don't have any lights or shadows as of now, so it may not look that realistic. But I have some grasses um, over here on that. So I may increase the number a little more. I just need to go here, uh, say that I need uh, 2000. Okay, so I have more number, a little more number of grasses over there. So now if I wish it's it's only a single grass. I wanted some flowers in between. I need uh, maybe some other variations in between. So what I could do is uh, I could pick a second object. I, I'll just say that I need to be this flower to be picked. So, so now I have two objects which are scattering here. That is one is my lawn grass as well as my common flower. So I just render it once again. 
Um, so uh, I have, uh, I can see a lot of flowers. I have grasses too, but uh, this is an equal distribution. What is happening now? I have now almost equal number of or equal possibilities of grass as well as flowers. I don't want so much flowers. I need very less number of flowers. I need more of grass. So I have a, I have grass and I have a common flower, and there is a probability here. So I have hundred percent probability for grass, and I have hundred percent probability for flower. I would say my probability of flower is one percentage. So and I would render it again. Uh, so uh, what happens is now I have very uh, few flowers in the scene. I have uh, say one, two, three, uh, very few numbers. So I think I need to increase it a little more and say probability is uh, 10 okay and uh, I don't want them to be in of same size I have uh, all the flowers as of now are same size so I may uh, go here and say common flower select it and uh, um, come to uh, uh, random settings and just just, just go to uh, I have scale here and scale is 100% uh, is scale to 100% scale. I would say that I need some of them to be 100% to 150 percentage. That means my scale can be anything from 100 to 150. So it can give me little variations. Same way I can go to rotation and say C rotation. I can have a probability to uh, C rotate to uh, say 180. I can have a 180 degree rotation maybe a little rotation on x or y axis maybe a 5 degree on these I can have a randomness of 5 degree it, these are basically uh, attributes which would create a little randomness to my object so it wouldn't look alike and um, okay so I'll render again I think I should uh, go a little more closer uh, so I could see it properly and uh, the the scale of the flower I would say that I need it it's, it's comparable to my grass so I'm just wanted this to be a little bigger so I can I'm scaling it here so that obviously will reflect here so what I wanted is my uh, flower should look a little bigger in the grass section So now I have some flowers which are popping up and uh, still it looks a little odd because I haven't had a light yet so there is no shadows or something so it may little, look a little odd but I think it's it's fine in terms of all other things. So I have some flowers. So consider uh, I, I may keep adding other objects I can say that I need some of the white flowers too. So I would again go and say that I need white flowers to be picked so I have added that so and again I'll reduce the probability to 10 because I don't want so much of these flowers to be seen so I have reduced the probability of those flowers so I will not have that much number as grasses because grasses having a probability of 100 percentage so And I think even I have to work on the scale of those objects a little because uh, they can be very small as now I'll check that because I'm not able I can see I guess maybe textures are not connected uh, just scale it a little same comparable scale as uh, the other flower or even this can be a little bigger and I can reduce the probability of this guys so you can see that I have some bigger guys now okay, and what I do is I'll just say that uh, I need it to be 5 percentage and so I have some big guys and uh, this is too big and I will just get it later on Yeah, I have now those flowers are also there. I think it's not looking that great at this company, so uh, 
uh, we'll just remove them and add some grasses over there, uh, some other things, uh, something like this. And again, the probability to tan. Okay. So I'm just adding a light so it can look a little better. So I'll take a V ray sun as of now. And probably reduce this intensity to something like. I think that should be fine for the scene. And that is a little high, I believe. Just uh, uh, point zero five with uh, my indirect illumination turned on, but make sure that I'm doing it in a very low irradiance map so that I can see the results faster. Renting it takes a little time to finish it, but just to show you what what it's, everything is fine. Um, so um, so this is we have done with the uh, basics of uh, almost we have covered the basic set parameters and settings of multi scatter. Mm, so we can see that uh, now with shadows and everything, it uh, looks far better. And, but the quality settings are very low, uh, so it may still not look that great, but it's fine to just to see, just to preview. And so I'm just leaving this now, uh, not converting it completely. And as I told, uh, you may use a different, uh, say you may use uh, not only a plane, you may use a spline also if you want to populate it on a spline. It's perfectly f uh, fine that you can even make it on a spline line, so you can make it on a circle or a rectangle. You draw a line and you can uh, perfectly uh, uh, work on a spline also, uh, the same way that uh, you do it on a, same way that you do it on uh, surface or uh, it's not only plain you may even uh, pick it on uh, something like a surface like this uh, t-board or so you can populate all these things I had done a funny example uh, last time that I had made a forest something kind of uh, this on on t-board okay, that's it uh, for this we'll continue on next lesson uh, next uh, session where we'll go to some more details of uh, multi-scatter.